Woj, what more can you share on the future of Donovan Mitchell in Utah here? Yeah, Malika, the Utah Jazz are now listening to overtures on Donovan Mitchell. He's got four years left on that new max contract. Obviously, this is in the wake of the Rudy Gobert trade to Minnesota. But listen, this is a player who uh, there's significant interest around the league. Uh, you know, so one of the best, uh, the most talented young uh, scoring guards in the NBA. And, and this is a player who uh, I think Utah now just has made a decision, the idea that he would be untouchable. And I think Justin Zanuck, their GM, alluded to this the other day that nobody was untouchable, but now teams who are calling the Jazz, you know, what they're saying is that the Jazz are willing to engage uh, on Donovan Mitchell. And so I think you're going to see some scenarios here. You know, as players like Kevin Durant, uh, who remains certainly in the trade market, it opens up the door, you know, to multi-team trades. When you have players like Donovan Mitchell available in the marketplace, uh, it starts to increase the options, you know, as teams uh, try to put together more complicated deals and certainly teams who would do want to do one-on-one -on -one deals uh, with uh, the Jazz, but I think for minutes for for Utah, this is a chance now uh, to see what the market might bear for Donovan Mitchell. They got essentially five first-round picks for Rudy Gobert. What might be available to them yeah. uh, for Donovan Mitchell, and they're going to be able to find that out now. Interesting. So this has been unspooling over the last couple of hours, JJ. This is the first time that we've had a chance to talk to you about this. What's your reaction to the news that Donovan could potentially become available here? I'm not particularly surprised given everything that's happened with the Utah Jazz in the offseason. Obviously, Quinn Snyder stepping down, Will Hardy replacing them, them trading Royce O'Neal, them trading Rudy Gobert. And look, I don't know their strategy, whether this is a full-on rebuild or if it's a, a strategy of, of going and getting good players plus all of the first-round picks. But there, there clearly is a vision for change uh, on this Utah Jazz, in this Utah Jazz organization. So I'm not surprised at all to hear that they're open to, to trading Donovan Mitchell. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.